Hi, I'm Trishan, guest reviewer for the Spotlight Movie Minute. This week, I watched Oscar nominee for Best Picture, Beasts of the Southern Wild. In a word, Beasts of the Southern Wild is magical. It tells the tale of Hush Puppy, a little girl growing up in the isolated Bayou community of Bathtub. She lives with her hot-tempered, dying father, Wink, in a dilapidated yet earthy farm that seems like a picture from a child's imagination. She talks to her roosters and dogs and lives at one with her surroundings. She attends a school in a seaside hut dwelling with jars filled with roots, weeds, ingredients for potions and healing aids. In class, the teacher tells of aurochs, fearsome prehistoric creatures that will reclaim the earth as the ice caps melt. And they do melt. Bathtub is surrounded by water and the landscape is bursting with outsider art. The film is narrated by Hush Puppy, who describes Bathtub as freedom, a place where they celebrate everything. However, Bathtub is prone to flooding, and this is where the plot begins. As a hurricane approaches, most of the residents pack up and leave Bathtub, while others, including Wink and Hush Puppy's teacher, remain. Beasts of the Southern Wild seems like a child trying to make sense of Hurricane Katrina, the loss of her mother, and the destructive nature of the world itself. I cannot use the word magical enough because that is exactly what it is. From the conventions of the world, a place in which a floating whorehouse, a literal houseboat, and a child with the power to deal with her father's ailment and the harsh life of bathtub meld beautifully to create an imaginative exploration of life and nature. The set design is superb and the cinematography is breathtaking in its grit and use of the landscape. Hush Puppy is played brilliantly by Quevenzani Wallace, who has been nominated for an Oscar for Best Actress in a Leading Role. She gives a spirited performance that supersedes her age and size. Even her screams carry weight that transcend each moment. The interactions that she has with her father, Wink, played by Dwight Henry, who, by the way, is a baker, are some of the most touching and disturbing as she engages him with anger and passion that explodes on the screen. My main issue with the film is that the aurochs didn't seem as devastating as they were built up to be. I don't know about you, but I've never found pigs scary. And yes, there are wild boars that can kill humans, but in this epic adventure, pigs with horns did not rouse the feelings of anxiety or fear. This is the first feature from director Ben Zeitlin, who did an amazing job translating his vision of this film onto the big screen. The scenes seem to come together organically with little instruction from him, and so the revelry and conversation seem to be really happening. He makes bathtub with its unusual people and concerns a real place through improvisation. I give Beasts of the Southern Wild a movie minute rating of Sella. Yeah, man, it bad.